you know, I get a ton of questions about my NBA player workouts. And one thing that I'll say about that is, is first of all, like, shout out to everyone who gives me requests for those um, because I get, I mean, I get so many requests. It's crazy. I mean, I've got, I've got 50 guys I got to get to. So, um, but keep on dropping guys you want me to see. You know, the more requests I get for a certain player, usually that's that determines when I actually get to that guy. So, you know, that that's kind of a, a thing. So understand that. Also, I, I get questions about like, coach, how should I actually structure doing these? Like if I want, do I do the same workout every day? Should I do two workouts a day? Should I do a different player every single day? Like what should I do to actually get the most out of using these workouts? And what I would say, and my, my response to that always is, what I recommend is, is that you take, you know, between three or four workout NBA workouts that you like. So, you know, maybe you like the Dame workout, you like the Steph workout, Kyrie and Trey Young. Those are your four favorites. So you take those four and you just rotate through them. So Monday is Dame, Tuesday is Steph, Wednesday Kyrie, Thursday is Trey. Like you just rotate through those. Maybe you only pick three. Maybe you pick the Luca one, you pick uh, Paul George and then LeBron. Those are your three that you like. And you rotate through those. Okay. So, and the reason for that is that you're able to hit different, different skills. And what I love about these player workouts is that they, they really simulate game actions, which is what, which is my sort of my, my whole, uh, purpose for them. Cause I've, I've had people ask me before, like coach, can you add some like ball handling drills into these or like some some other like specific skill drills. But to me, like I, I post videos with that stuff all the time. Like I have videos that will help you with your ball handling to do like stationary stuff, moving stuff, whatever, finishing workouts, uh, another finishing workout coming this week actually. So stay tuned for that. And shooting workouts, of course, I have all those things. The purpose of my NBA workouts though, is I want you guys to get better at actually playing and using game actions, okay? So being able to go and combine different things, being able to, to combine a punch drag into a crossover, being able to go for, to, to you know, a from a shot fake to a two dribble step back, being able to, to hit shots coming off of pin downs or off of, you know, uh, relocations or off of a jab step different different actual game scenarios okay and that's why you see in all these workouts i'll have the clip of them actually doing it in the game so you see the situation that they actually apply that those the, that 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 drill in right and that's how i get the the inspiration for all of that so that's why i don't do any sort of like, like you know two ball pounds or or you know one ball r crossover repeats or whatever like i, I just get to form shooting into the workout Okay. And so, you know, w when it comes to picking workouts, this is another player, another thing I get is like, coach, what kind of workout should I do? And my thing is like, like I said before, you can just do workouts you like. If you, if you watch a workout and you really like it, you think that it's cool, like you like the drills in it or you like the play or whatever, you can, you can pick those, you know, three or four that you like the most. And, but, but if, you know, you want it to be what's going to help me the most, well, look at those workouts and, and think about who, which of those players plays, plays the most like you. Okay, who has a similar role to you, and what situations do you find yourself in. So if you if you're watching a workout and there's a lot of stuff from the wing or the corner, maybe you know that you get a lot of shots, a lot of opportunities in the wing, in the corner in games. So maybe you decide that you're going to do that workout because it, you, you're in that same situation a lot. And it can be the same thing when it comes to. Maybe you are a point guard, so you're going to do a lot of stuff off ball screens. So you're going to do the Chris Paul workout because there's a lot of ball screen stuff in that one. So, you know, ask yourself, what skills do I need to work on? What situations do I find myself in in games? And then pick three or four workouts that you that, that, that are going to mimic those situations so you can get better at them. Okay. And then also don't feel the need to have to stick to that. You, if you decide, like if I post a new workout, for example, and you decide you want to do that one instead, cool put that one in there, maybe take out another one, whatever. Like you can feel free to switch that up. Okay. At the end of the day though, you want to be able to get those reps in. So that's why I said, don't pick, don't pick 10 workouts to, to go through because then you're only doing a workout one time every two weeks, right? Maybe once every week and a half, if you're lucky or twice every week and a half, if you're lucky, but you know, the, you're, you doing it three or four times, like three or four workouts, meaning you're going to get it in probably twice a week which is, which is great because that means you're going to be able, be able to get in those reps while also getting more variation. Okay. So you can work on different situations, different skills, but you're also getting enough reps in that you see improvement. Okay. And you continue that over a, a, uh, you know, a, a 
sustained amount of time, and you'll see you'll see yourself getting better at that and getting better at those situa- those uh, situations. And you know, one of the big reasons why I decided to to have all these workouts be just game shot focused is because for me, I think one of the biggest keys was I had to I had to work on more of those game situations in practice, like. I, cause again, like I said, I was always, always a worker where I'd shoot those spot shots. I'd, I'd work on my stationary ball handling, but what I didn't do enough of is actually work on scoring in game situations. Okay. Even if we're not playing against a defender right now, even if you're just doing, you know, one on zero, just being able to, to know like, okay, I can go to this move. I can do these, this combo move and then go into a pull up or into a step back into inverted drag, whatever it is. Okay. That's such an important thing to be able to do. Just, just be able to like kind of be creative and freestyle things. And these workouts are, that's what I love about them because no workouts ever the same because every drill is, is every situation in the game is different, right? That's why I said before, there's never a time where this going to be two, two of the same plays. So I'm giving you guys clips of these videos of, of these guys making these plays before. You'll never see another video exactly like that. So every drill is going to be a little different. Every workout's going to be a little bit different. And that's what I love most about it because, again, if you can solve problems in games at an efficient rate, you're going to be a really good player. Okay, if you have the skills to do that, the the technique to do that. Okay, so that that's the biggest part. So you know, find three or four workouts you like or that that fit your game style, and then rotate through those, stick to it, and you'll see improvement. I want you guys right now go to the top link in my description and get my free elite perimeter score workout. We're gonna work on a bunch of different skills that you need to have if you want to be an elite player in the perimeter. Make sure you guys check it out completely free. Click the link; I'll send it right to you.